God was discovered by virtue of a series of screening assays that we have in the lab. It's called phenotypic screening, where you have models of the disease that, and you can screen the drugs in, in these different models, and their tissue culture models of different aspects of the disease and the risk factors for the disease so that the uh, screening assays that we use are um, very f rapid, fast assays for different aspects of both Alzheimer's and aging, the toxicities associated with these. And so um, the idea is to find a drug which works in multiple assays versus just one target. So we don't pre-select the target because in Alzheimer's and stroke and essentially all of these neurodegenerative diseases, nobody really knows what the pathology is initiated by, that they don't know the target. This is a, a problem with the, uh, the drug discovery in the pharmaceutical world, is that they insist on knowing the target first, and so they're basically selecting a target, but it may not be the right one. And that may be the problem with the Alzheimer's thing. So that as far as why there are no drugs out there, because the uh, you know, the, the pharmaceutical companies are basically putting all their money into this amyloid pathway. But the amyloid pathway may not be relevant in the majority of the cases. It's part of the problem, but it's not, you know, certainly not the total problem. So we might be seeing a, a various collection of, of causes that we describe as Alzheimer's. That's a fact. Yeah. Okay. There's no question about that. And okay. People should be very clear about that because the assumption is when you have a dementia type behavior that this is it's going to be Alzheimer's. Essentially, if you look at the, the, the I can't say death certificates because people usually die of something else, but the people who have these this, this behavioral problems which are classified as dementia, this is frequently, very rarely is a pure Alzheimer's disease. There's only 3% of the cases are these familial Alzheimer's where there's a mutation cause the disease. The 97, 98% of the cases, it's a mixture of different things going on. And in a lot of the cases that are classified initially as Alzheimer's have absolutely no amyloid pathology. They have nothing associated with that. And so essentially, uh, I would say the vast majority, if not you know, 90% yeah. of the problem is not uniquely amyloid, or it's not this pathway. It's a combination of a whole different things and a bunch of different things. So that's why the way we make these compounds and screen them is very different than what is normally done. And yeah. That's the critical aspect. It seems kind of similar to what we now know about cancer and trying to find a, a cure for cancer when they have many different molecular causes uh, would be just as ineffective uh, as trying to treat dementia or Alzheimer's when there's all these differing causes at the molecular roots. That's right. Okay. Yeah.